So we will have a look today at how to send signals from VCV into Touch Designer, creating audio reactive visuals, and also how to send signals from Touch Designer into VCV and let the visuals control different aspects and modules in VCV. Now, before we start, I just want to say a short disclaimer. <laughs> I'm fairly new to Touch Designer, so feel free to leave some tips in the comments. And let's talk for a second about sending audio from VCV into Touch Designer. This can be quite complicated depending on the system you're on. You might need to use some sort of a virtual audio device, but I will show you why there is no need to send audio from VCV into Touch Designer and it's uh, much easier with a different approach. One thing though, if you're using Reaper on Windows, it's actually really easy to route audio between different software. So I will put a link in the description to a video I made about sending audio from VCV into Reaper and it will work the same with Touch Designer. But again, you will see why there is no need for that at all. So let's start with sending signals from VCV into Touch Designer. So I have a small patch going, I will unmute it. Nice uh, sort of a generative uh, patch. I will not go through everything that goes on here, that's not the point of this video, but the patch will be available um, to download if you are interested. And I also have here something ready in Touch Designer. Also this will be available um, to download. And there are three things that I thought will be interesting to control with signals from VCV. And here's a tip for you, when you build a patch in Touch Designer and you know you will want to modulate and control different parameters with audio, you can add notes in the operators, and um, you can see this here, and then the note is here. Um, so you will remember, remember what you wanted to control. So here, for example, I will, uh, would like to control the offset, the, this here, the offset parameter. And I have here also a circle um, operator, and I would like here to modulate the softness offset, which is this. And I would also like to control the colors a bit. So here you can see I have another comment and it says modulate hue offset. So I will want to do this. Very nice. Now, if we go back to VCV, we can use the OSC module from Trovasoft, which will look like this. I will zoom in a bit also. Um, this is, I believe, the only module in VCV that can send and receive OSC messages. There are also expanders if you need. So if I filter this by Trovasoft, you can see we have two expanders, one for more inputs, one for more outputs. So if you need more channels, it's also available. So let's set it up first. If we go, we click here to the config, we can see the output port number and the input port number and the IP address as well if needed. I'm um, using both VCV and Touch Designer on the same computer, so there is no need for that. So now let's enable the OSC module just by clicking here. Enable, very nice. And now in Touch Designer, let's move here. We will use the OSC in chop, which will be this one here. I will change the network port again to 7000. This is what we have set in VCV. And we can start sending signals from VCVREX. I will change again to VCV. And, and now I will show you why it's easier not to send the actual audio. So let's say that we want to use the first channel, which will sound like this. So what we will do, we will use, I will move it a bit, we will use an envelope, an envelope follower, I will use the one from Bog Audio, and I will use the signal, in this case, what we have here, I have the signal, I have the voice, which is basically the bleak oscillator, but at the end of the chain, it's going also through a delay. I don't want to use the signal 
after the delay, I don't want the delayed um, uh, audio as well. I just want the original signal. So I will use it from here, from the VCA. So I will just take a cable to the input of the envelope follower. And now the envelope follower will follow the amplitude level of this signal and will output an envelope. It will output control voltage according to the amplitude of this voice. So let's have a look on the scope. And you will see this also in action. It will look like this. And now we have control over how smooth this signal will be. So if I take it all the way down, it's quite rigid. If I take it a bit up, let's say to about 70% somewhere. You can see that it's quite smooth. We can also change the amplitude. We can amplify or attenuate the signal if needed. In this case, I will leave it at zero. So we have control over the signal. We can add, of course, more modules in the chain, like filters, if you want only certain frequencies, for example. So let's really do this. I will use tangents from volt, and I will send this signal first through the high pass filter, and then to the envelope follower. Maybe I will lower the cutoff a bit. So now the lower frequencies of this, voice, of this voice will not have any effect. We filter them out. And of course, we can do this also in Touch Designer, adding filters and so on. But it's nice having the audio together in one place and the visuals in another. And again, this is, in my opinion, a much better and easier way than with sending the audio itself. So let's send this to channel one of the OSC module from the envelope follower, of course. And now we can see this signal here in Touch Designer. You can see how it's moving. And now what I will do is I will add a select, a select chop because we will add more signals um, later on. So this will be channel one here in under channel names I will change this change this to channel one and now I will also use a math chop just in case you want to change the range later so we don't have to go back and forth to VCV and I will use also a null so this is our endpoint we can use Okay, so now let's use this signal to control or to modulate the softness offset on this circle uh, top, something like this. So I will change it to viewer active and I will grab this signal to softness offset and use chop reference. controlling this parameter. I will change the range a bit. Instead of 0 to 1, I will change it to maybe to 0 0.5, just so it's not too crazy. You can see the movement here. So we have our first modulation. Let me just unmute everything. Right, so we have the first modulation, the first um, audio reactive control. Okay, so now in VCV, let's say that we want to use now this channel here or this voice. This is the FM operator. Again, it's going through some delay. I don't want a signal from the delay. I just want a signal from the FM operator. So I will duplicate the envelope follower we have here. And I will use the signal before the delay. 
And of course you can do uh, anything you like, you don't have to do it like I make it. And this will go to channel 2 on the OSC module. And then in Touch Designer we have here another channel. You can see we have channel 1 and channel 2. So now what we will do, let's move this a bit up. I will duplicate the select math and now I'll just copy and paste. And now here I will set it up not to channel 1 but to be channel 2. So now we have here the FM operator. And this we will use to control the offset on this noise top here. This offset. So I will just drag it from the null to the offset and again chop reference. And I will change the range even more, maybe to point 0.2, let's say. I will unmute everything in VCV. So we have another modulation going on. Now we can also use any other signal from VCV. So for example, uh, I can use Oct, I have here Oct from Instruo. I can use it to change the colors in Touch Designer. So let's send this, I will use this output here. This will go to channel three on the OSC module. And now here again, you can see that we have another channel. We have now channel three as well. So again, I will duplicate the select math and null and now I will select channel 3. So now those here are all the channel from oct. Already you can see that the range here is different. It will go from negative 5 to positive 5. So on the math module I can change it from negative 5 to positive 5. And this I will use to modulate again the hue offset, so I will drag it to the hue offset, chop reference, and I know already that I have to change also the maximum range, so let's go again to the math, chop, and change this to a hundred, let's say, and now it will change also colors, it will go from yellow to purple, and so on together with the movement from BCV. And those are the basics, more or less, of sending signals from VCV into Touch Designer. Let's have a look now at sending signals from Touch Designer into VCV. So now let's have a look at how we can send signals from Touch Designer into VCV and control our patch with the visuals. So here I have this patch in Touch Designer. Again, it will be available to download. And I'm converting the red, you can see it here, the red, uh, green, blue, and alpha settings into signals I can use in VCV. I'm using the top to chop module or operator in this case. <laughs> now in VCV, I have again the OSC module. Again, let's enable it in the config, enable. And in this case, for sending signals into VCV, we need to use the import, which is 7001. So in Touch Designer, in this case, we will use the OSC out operator. And here we can uh, change again the network port. So this will be 7001. And if we look again in VCV, each channel has a name. So here we have channel 1 or CH slash 1, CH slash 2, and so on. So again, in Touch Designer, we need to use the rename chop. Let me just move it. The rename chop so we can rename those channels. 
and let's select, I will remove this star here, we will select the R, G and B, in this case I will use the red, uh, red, green and blue and not the alpha and we will change them to CH slash 1, CH slash 2 and CH slash 3 and here you can see that it changed so now if you look in VCV, you can see here that we have something going on, something is happening on the first three channels. We can also look at it on the scope and you will see that the signals are quite weak. So let's go again to Touch Designer and I will add the Math Chop because I want to change the range and I will go to Range and I will change this from 0 to 1 it will be 0 to 10 and now in VCV you can see here on the scope that we have the signals uh, that we can use them better now in VCV so now for example we can use channel 1 to generate pitch information so I will send it first to a VCA, every VCA that is just open to about 25%, just to attenuate it a bit, so it's more fitting for pitch information. This will go through a quantizer, and it will sequence the FM operator that's going through a delay. So again, we will use this signal, I think it's the red color, to generate pitch. If we look in Touch Designer, Channel 1 is red, yes. So now according to the visuals, according to the picture, which is random by the way, this is nothing but noise, this will change and control the sequence in VCV, which is quite cool. I can use the second channel, which is the green channel, to modulate, for example, the feedback or the timbre of this voice. It will do something like this, so let's use it to the feedback and take it quite up here. Okay, now we can also use a simplicity, we can use those um, signals to trigger and stop recording of a voice. So this simpliciter is set to record the FM operator after the delay. And we will use a comparator for this. So first of all, let's set the comparator to about 2 volts, let's say. And then we'll use the second signal for this to the input of the comparator. And now every time this signal crosses the 2 volts, it will start or stop the recording on Simpliciter. So now it's recording. Let's wait for it to cross the two volts again, like now. So again, the visuals, in this case it's the green channel, is starting and stopping the recording on Simpliciter. So we have generative visuals in Touch Designer controlling or playing generative music in VCV Rec, which is, yes, it is quite cool, quite cool, quite fun. Now we also have trigger outputs on the OSC module that we can use, but they are uh, running quite fast so if you look in this channel you can see that the triggers are running at a high uh, rate but of course we are in a modular environment so we can use a clock divider i have here the clock divider from count modular so i will use channel 3 the trigger uh, outputs and now they're divided by 256 so every 256 times this trigger is being triggered, it will trigger sample and hold, which is generating pitch. This should be a yellow cable, by the way. Generate pitch, and I am, the voice itself is just an even VCO going through a low pass filter, nothing special. But this will also trigger the voice or trigger the envelope for this voice. I 
can use the CV from this channel to modulate the filter. And again, all of this, this will be the third channel, all of this is coming from Touch Designer, from the uh, red, green and blue channels, coming from this generative, generative visuals. And I'm sure that this can be used in all sorts of ways. Um, in my case, I have now Touch Designer, VCV Rec, Reaper and OBS open. <laughs> So I cannot make too many things at once, otherwise my computer will just crash. Um, but if you go and explore this Touch Designer and VCV, please make sure to share your results with me. I would love to see what you come up with. Um, I hope this video was helpful. And cheers.